वेलकम टू कंप्लीट सीक्वेल ट्यूटोरियल वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कर्सर ओके सो लास्ट वीडियो आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन द डिटेल ऑफ द वाइल्ड लूप आई ऑल्सो डिस्कस द यूज केसेस ऑफ द वाइल्ड लूप सो द कर्सर इज द अल्टरनेट वे ऑफ द वाइल्ड लूप मीन्स द फॉर द लूपिंग इन द सीक्वेल वी हैव टू टाइप ऑफ द लूप वी कैन यूज आई दर वी कैन यूज द वाइल्ड लूप and uh, also we can use the cursor so a cursor is an object uh, which is the used into the database uh, to uh, process the data uh, row by row so i will discuss in the detail uh, what exactly cursor is there so this is the very important uh, for the interview point of view uh, like uh, uh, the main impo important question is the what is the life cycle of the cursor uh, that will i will discuss in the detail so uh, let let's jump to the cursor overview and understand exactly uh, what is the cursor is there so basically a uh, cursor is a database object uh, uh, which is used to retrieve data from result set uh, one row at a time the cursor can be used when the data need to be update uh, row by row okay so uh, when uh, if you have the the requirement to uh, process the data row by row uh, we can use the cursor so basically there are two type of the cursor is there uh, one is the implicit cursor and the second one is the explicit cursor so whenever uh, we use the insert update and any dml operation within the cursor uh, it is called the implicit cursor and uh, whenever we use the data query language like the select statement in the cursor and uh, that is the called the explicit cursor so the interview question will come is what is the difference between the uh, implicit cursor and uh, what is the difference between the explicit cursor so you can tell this uh, answer okay so major uh, major uh, the difference here the major uh, interview question point of view cursor is they they will ask you what is the cursor life cycle so if they put the question related to cursor definitely uh, they will put the uh, what is the cursor life cycle so basically uh, the cursor life cycle is the uh, declaring the cursor uh, opening the cursor uh, fetching the cursor closing the cursor and the last one deallocating the cursor so basically in the uh, declaring the cursor we declare the cursor uh, in the opening the cursor we need to be open the cursor and fetching the cursor we need to fetch the data from the cursor and the closing the cursor should be uh, closed after data manipulation and deallocate means that we need to uh, release from the memory uh, because uh, when we use the cursor Uh, cursor you will save into the they locate some type of the uh, memory into the database so uh, this is the uh, life cycle of the cursor and the basically when uh, why use the cursor so in a relational database operation are made and set of row for example select statement return a set of row uh, which is called a uh, result set sometimes the application logic need to be work a uh, row at a time uh, rather than the entire result set once a time this is can be done using the uh, cursor only so this is the basic uh, requirement we have for using the cursor and uh, in the within the cursor we have the one uh, fetch status so uh, we have the zero means the fetch status is uh, successfully minus one means fetch status failed two means minus two means the uh, row fetch is missing minus nine is the not performing a fetch operation so for the interview point of view uh, the they will ask you what is the exactly fetch status is there and uh, what is the value is there so you need to be remember uh, what exactly fetch status is there and i will also discuss uh, the real time okay how the fetch status is work okay so let's jump to the sql server uh, uh, management studio and see how the cursor is the uh working okay so this is the uh, example of the uh, cursor so i have a table uh, that is the dim employee table so i am just giving you the how the uh, fetch the row from the uh, one row at a time and then it to be jump to the uh, second row and the third row and the fourth row like so on by using the cursor so as i discuss already uh, cursor is work based on the uh, life cycle Mm, so i declaring the variable employee key uh, 
uh, first name last name and the message and uh, i'm printing some dim implied detail so you will get some better understanding so the uh, life cycle life cycle of the cursor is first is the declaring the cursor so i'm here the declaring the cursor so i am the cursor cursor for uh, uh, and putting all this data which is the dim employee data into the cursor memory so they basically all the 296 record will be uh, put the cursor in the memory and uh, the next life cycle is the uh, opening the cursor uh, when you open the cursor uh, and then we need to fetch the data from in the cursor so from the data they will pick up first row like the employee key and the first name and the last name and they will put all the data into the first variable like one gui uh, uh, give it okay so and then the simply uh, we testing point of view uh, we just uh, printing this data okay so we find the all the data fetch next for uh, uh, row by row and next we need to pick up the second value that is that we need to put the uh, fetch next from the cursor here so when you put this uh, they will pick up the next value when the completed the first value is there so automatically when there is no value is there uh, like 296 value is completed uh, the fetch status will be automatically changed and uh, the cursor execution will be stopped and at the end uh, we need to close the cursor and we need to deallocate the cursor so now if you execute this code okay so uh, you can see uh, this uh, all the row will be printing here so the major question is coming uh, what is the difference between the uh, cursor and the uh, while loop okay so which scenario you will use the cursor and which scenario you will use the while loop so basically for the performance point of view the while loop is uh, better than the cursor but if you not able to uh, achieve the requirement by using the while loop uh, you can use the cursor so you cannot go beyond the requirement uh, so uh, this is the only scenario uh, we can use uh, uh, cursor uh, while loop instead of the cursor and uh, if you feel uh, like the cursor is little bit uh, complex like we need to follow the some type of the uh, life cycle uh, but uh, uh, while loop we have the simple thing okay so uh, uh, the all the developer they first prefer the while loop instead of the cursor but uh, depend on the individual choice so developer choice so there is no restriction is, is here you either you can go use for the while loop or the cursor uh, but uh, uh, if you talk about the uh, cursor definitely uh, if you using the cursor into the code definitely the performance will be down okay any looping if you using into the code okay so that is a very important you need to keep it keep in the mind if you working for the performance wise okay so try to avoid always the loop in the, the code so if the loop is involved definitely the performance will be go down so this is the all about the cursor uh, next video i will start with the store procedure that is a very uh, important uh, topic and uh, we have total around 48 to uh, you can see 56 uh, 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 56 and also we have the how uh, we can use the 61 uh, uh, store procedure and that here defined function how we can call the function in the SP so around 10 video is available uh, only for the store procedure that will be I will upload in the future so uh, keep watching and keep learning uh, each and everything so thank you so much for the watching this video I will meet again on next one thank you